And athletes accused, a high school lacrosse team season suspended, while police investigate possible animal cruelty. Good evening. It tops our news at 11. Gross Hill Police and the high school are digging deeper into this case. Players are accused of sacrificing a guinea pig, drinking its blood, and smearing the blood on their faces as some kind of pregame ritual. Let's get to Mara McDonald. She joins us live at Gross Hill Police. And Mara, are they considering criminal charges here? Carmen, they sure are. This is serious. Grocio police want to interview multiple boys on that team to find out if it's really true that some of the players on that team went to a local pet store, bought a guinea pig with the sole intention of killing it before a game. Several boys on the Grocio lacrosse team are being investigated by the police for animal cruelty. According to students and parents, they're accused of buying the guinea pig and conducting their own version of an animal sacrifice before the team's game with Dexter. One boy reportedly drank the blood, a handful of others smeared themselves with the blood. This was in no way a ritual and it wasn't done year to year. I can only emphasize that this was a one time thing. This isn't um, necessarily a great expression of the lacrosse team, obviously. Camillari is the former team captain who is now in college. He's just as stunned as everybody else. For years, we've been doing great things on and off the field, and it's just a shame to see 15 years of a coach that put in his a uh, lot of hard work and effort to build the program to have it all come tumbling down in one day. The school and the police department are refusing interviews, but both confirm a criminal investigation into what happened is underway. All the students knew about it. The talk grew in volume over the weekend. The police were alerted yesterday. It was just a select group, and uh, I feel bad for the rest of the team. Uh, you know, they had their season canceled because of it. The rest of their season canceled because of it. When it wasn't their fault, it was just a small minority of the team. Do you guys think this is dumb? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's ridiculous. Back here live. So here's where things stand right now. You've got a police investigation into animal cruelty. The school has its own investigation ongoing, but the school says they're on standby until the police uh, finish up their investigation and decide whether anybody's going to be charged here, and then the school's going to move in. So I think there's going to be plenty of disciplinary action all the way around. We are live in Grozeal tonight. I'm Mara McDonald, Local 4.